Welcome back to the channel and a new video. They went down a storm. The five transits that I went all the way over the Tainar Bridge, I'm going to say. Saltash, because I did get it wrong saying I went up to Cornwall, down to Cornwall. And a, a lot of Cornish people said you're offending us. So I'll be very careful there. They're just tongue in cheek. So the transits... We did say we're not going to do a video on every single transit, and that is not the case. That's not going to happen. But we are going to obviously do a video on one or maybe two. And this is the one we're going to start on. It's the latest one. It's the 2019. It's only done one, 120, 120,000 miles. It is in, apart from the obvious, quite nice condition. It's not all beaten up apart from that door. So you can see the sides are all nice on it. It's fairly nice inside, but has got a problem. We've just gone through the paperwork. Luckily, they've all got written down the issues that they've had, the issues that they've had repaired and the other bits that still need doing. So this one has just had a wet belt and they investigated a blow, but that's as far as they got. Chris has noticed a couple of um, Jubilee clips, let's say, down there as you can see, holding the manifold cover on. Do you want to fire in a hole, mate? You can see it chuffing like mad out of there. That'll do you, mate. So it has got a bad, bad blow on the exhaust there. And we're going to have to strip all of that turbine, that DPF, out of the way to try and find that. They are quite common, a lot of people said in the comments, for snapping, snapping studs, the manifolds warping, so much that the manifolds are inexpensive from full direct to buy new. We've got parts plus down the road. So a little bit backwards, but we have just discussed it. Once the turbo is removed from this vehicle, it is immobilised. So I'm going to do it a little bit round the wrong way today. And I'm going to whip that down the car wash and have them really give it, like, give it a proper jet wash all underneath, get these wheels all clean, and get a load of the dust and muck out of the inside of it. Just, I know it is a bit round the, round the wrong way, like I said, but we're going to start there by getting it cleaned, and then we're going to open that bonnet up and crack on and see if we can get this one turned around out the door to one of you guys. going to be working underneath the bonnet, so I've just said to him, blow all the dust off around the edges, around the edges, and of course all that grime around the edge of the bonnet. Must always thank the guys over at the car wash always let me video and a couple of them do actually watch the videos and obviously spot themselves cleaning the vehicles we're getting the full treatment here and this truck is actually coming up very very nice look how clean the chassis looks actually it's stupid to meet ling danny you can't even see it but it's just going to clean all that bed you can see it's blowing out all the door shuts all up under the arches it really is coming up nice I guess we'll have a look when they're completely done. From this to this. I know quite a lot of you hate me jet washing seats, but it's got to be done. There's no electrics inside these. There's nothing to worry about. And by the time I leave here, when they've finished, they'll be light as a feather and most of that water will, will be gone. And then Claire's out all day, so I literally live five minutes from here. I'm going to whip home and put them in front of the radiator so that they're dry for tomorrow. But look at the difference in them. It that honestly, makes it so much easier. You could spend hours there with a wet back doing that and it takes seconds with a jet wash. Mate, look at that old truck, how nice it come yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. See what you got now, can't you? Yeah. I'm going to swap that door over at yeah. a later date. Have a little, before we walk around, have a little look in here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they've been jet washed. Yeah, but come, it's actually come up. It's come up reasonably nice in there, yeah. isn't it? All the door panels are all nice. They've done all inside them, so we did just want to get the majority of the worst of it. Yeah, and all the bed. Yeah, all the chassis all come up really, really nice. Yeah, that's good. There was it? a lot of mud. Obviously, these have been on sites, haven't yep. they? 
and then this side what we got now yeah this side looks like it's um yeah a bit of thinners on that door ready to go a bit of red on there we get that off with a bit of thinners won't we um, so we've just, me and Chris just made a bit of a plan. We are actually, we've got it right near the door, just in case it does rain and we want to get it in. It is going to disable it by getting in there, but it's definitely blowing quite bad and there's no way of dressing it up or getting around it. We've got to get in there. And we have found in the paperwork. Yes. It's been in Do a garage. Do you want to explain that? Yeah. yeah, it's been in a garage and on the paperwork it says that the manifold has been removed, the mating surfaces have been cleaned, new gasket fitted and obviously it went back to work didn't it but yeah. as it just is one of the studs come loose did they um i don't know we'll find out won't we yeah but interest i mean i can't remember the date on it but it was december last year it was december so last year it's yeah. hardly done anything since then has it no so very similar mileage to what it is now as well so we might just find a, a bolt or a stud missing aren't we yeah, you but, never know but we've probably got to take it all the way off now um, we did notice this pipe as well wasn't plugged into the airbox this which morning. It's like a breather, isn't it? Yeah, which so. is a bit strange. Let's get involved, mate, and have a look. Well, we might have to let it cool down first because yes. it's hot now, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, because of course I've just been to the car wash. We'll let that cool down and we get involved. So we're good to go in three, two, really one. funny, I've had to run in here and I was getting a seat out, Chris's idea, out the other van. Jet wash it, he said. Once it's dry, take this one out, yeah. put it in here. Yeah. That's this one done inside. And I've left that bit of video in where I went three, two, one, because it was all going to be on the floor and done so that we didn't time lapse it. But Chris called me in and went here, have a look at this. Go on, mate. I've took the uh, clamp off of there, Rob, off that Let DPF, yes. and uh, the pipe's off. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think that's I meant think to we're be all, like all that. all in agreement that it's done, that it shouldn't be like that. No. So what it appears is there's nothing... Like we said, we found the paperwork, they've had the manifold off. It's where the turbo bolts to the manifold is loose. So I think you're going to have to fully remove it and put yeah. a bit of new gasket. It may be a broken stud off in that, mightn't it? But yeah. The manifold to the engine looks like it's all okay. It's blowing out of that joint. So Once... not a major drama. We've, I've, I've sprayed up this heat shield because they're always a bit of a pain to get out so i've sprayed that one up and hopefully get the heat shield off get to the, the studs for that and get the turbo off once that turbo is removed yep we will know whether the manifold's chuffing anyway because you're going to have a lot of this black stuff coming out the top of it so we are going to know aren't yeah. we well, it, 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 uh, yeah like you say once that's off you can get to the manifold bolts just to check them anyway yeah. can't you but yeah i think i think we found it don't you? okay mate three two one there we go chris because you've got your gloves on can i get you to just spin that up yeah. <clears throat> so that is where i mean that's been blowing out of every single side of it isn't it look it's gone oh, yeah, everywhere it's, uh, wibbly wobbly was it yeah and then you had one nut hand tight on there that's right which was that side but look how black that is and is that the nut in your hand yeah and there's a broken stud there but worst of all there's no gasket in there oh, no gasket. and me and you have actually read paperwork from a garage we won't include that well but, that said they actually cleaned the mating surfaces and then resealed it it said manifold they removed manifold though didn't it but it don't look like that manifold's ever been off that block that to hasn't me. been off that block so but there you go we're not getting into that i guess at some point they tackled it because that wouldn't just snap on its own would it no. someone has attempted to remove it yes snapped it and they've um they probably dogged it back up off of these two and let it go. Mm. Um, maybe they took the gasket out because they couldn't get it to seal with only three, two studs in it, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Bit of a worry, though, isn't it? It's, um, why has that Why has that not got a gasket on it? Why have they not tried to repair that? Why well, are the like bolts not being done up? Because they probably couldn't get it to seal with the gasket in there with yeah. just two studs, so they probably took it out to get it tighter. Yeah. Um, so, why you go and get us a gasket? Yeah, I shall drill that stud out, mate, and tap it out, and tap it out, and, right, um, and make a stud if we haven't got one. Turbo feels all right, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels fine. So all good there. All right, yeah. mate, I'll let you do it. All right, mate. 
So nice bit of lubrication there while Chris is drilling that out and you can see he's he's drilling out the centre of it and then he goes a little bit bigger and actually drills out all of the damage, keeping it lubricated. He's got all of the holes there blocked so none of those iron filings can get in there. He's now moved on with the tap on the drill. He would have done it a little bit by hand and then in and out, in and out. Oh, there he goes. Now by hand, just getting that thread perfect. Two gaskets. And they are just plain gaskets. £32 for them. It's unbelievable. And I'll just type this part number into eBay. It's on there, look. 2011907. It's dearer. Dearer than coming to Parts Plus. Okay, let's get back to the yard, get them fitted. A nice little bit of time lapse there from yeah. Chris. And as you can see, new stud. All made up and wound in there. Yep, and these are actually the original nuts because they'd fallen down there. And when I washed it off with a bit of brake cleaner and laid underneath, the broken stud come out. Oh, you found them. And the other nut. Oh. So they are originals. That's handy. Yeah. So we're ready then to. We've got a brand new gasket. I've bought some exhaust paste as well. We'll probably go both sides of that, will we? Or Well, I think we'll put some on there just to stick that ceiling ring on. I've got a new one I of those. Because I can see that being a bit tricky. Keep falling out, can't you? Yeah, definitely. So I think we we'll stick that on. And, um, yeah. It's just hopefully this is this surface is not warped. I have had the, uh, I've had a, a 40 grit DA disc and then an 80 grit on it. And I have on the turbo. And I've drilled and tapped that broken one off for the heat shield oh yes but i've had to put an eight mil in instead of a six mil because it, it ran off a little bit but okay uh yeah so i think we're all good all right i also got the service kit while we was out so yeah let's get it back together and uh keep our fingers crossed right all back together chris can we have a little shake test on that mate Shall please let me put my gloves back on We've got to have a little like, rock test to make yeah, sure that you ain't cut any corner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's more like it. That's got it, the whole it? engine moving. So, all done. And you can actually see now, if I just zoom in there a little bit, you can see it all squidging out. Yeah, lovely. Right, a fire in the hole, mate, I think. Have we put the battery back on? The battery's on. Oh, that door sounds horrible, doesn't it? I can't wait to change it. Yep. Yeah. I'll tell you what that sounds like. Transit. Sounds like, sounds a, transit. like a transit. Yeah. We obviously don't know any anything much about it. Just have a look, make sure it's exhausting out the exhaust. Yeah. Can't hear you very well. We yeah, ain't put a mic on you, but yes, yes. it's going to want plugging in. It's going to want to go through because I know it had an ad blue kit coming up on well, there. Well, it could be because the exhaust was blowing so bad, couldn't it? It's yeah. send, sending the sensors haywire. Shall we plug it in and see? Yeah, plug it in, mate. Let's it do it. Sounds better, doesn't it? A lot better. I think he's nailed that. Oh, it sounds absolutely spot on for a transit, exactly how it should. And it still had that ad blue issue. But I've just driven up the road. Just give it, I've done a code clear. It had loads of ex exhaust uh, issues, emission issues. I didn't show it, but I've cleared them all down. It's done 120,845 miles. And I've just driven it down the road. It said, as I pulled off, vehicle will be non-star in 400 and something miles. But we had three quarters of a can of that ad blue left from the little Fiat farino that we did so i'll put that ad blue in here cleared all the codes down i've just driven it out the road and back and boom let's turn it off and then as soon as i start it up if it had any faults they'd come up you can see the ad blue there so that was flashing earlier and then it had a little apostrophe here but everything's gone out and it sounds lovely those seats are back in i'm just leaving them you can see all the water on the floor i was going to take them home but I'll just end up in trouble taking them home. So I've, left, I've put them in here. It's not going to hurt. It's got quite late in the day. So I am probably going to pick up in the morning. 
by the driver's seat I've got in the back of the van. It's been washed. And that door, we're gonna swap with that door. Because that door is actually really nice. And this is the one that I took, put my rubbish in, that I took the seat out of earlier and got it cleaned. I think apart from swapping the door lock over and the mirror, the door mirror, <laughs> we're gonna be all right. And of course, we'll need to do the service as well. So I guess we'll be back in the morning. The next morning. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, trying to do it on my own, but I'm gonna manage somehow. I've already made a start on this one. Took the cover off and exposed the little nut there holding the door on. It is just, it is just on two pins, this door. So you'll be able to undo that 10, undo that 10 and then lift this door off. But you've got the check strap and of course you've got the wiring harness, which I've just pre-removed and removed that cover. Just so I know where we're at with it. So I'm gonna get them tens undone, get that check strap undone, get something nice to stick on the floor here to sit the door on, because I'm gonna lift this one off and then obviously I'm gonna to need to lift that one on, this one on the van. And then I'm gonna change the lock, the mirror and everything else once the door is hanging on the van, on the truck. It makes sense to do it like that. So let's get on with it. Nothing more to say, let's do it. So this is the bit you've really got to take care of because this is the good door. So nice bit of cardboard on the floor. You've got a check strap, those two 10 mils, two wirings, and off it comes. Exactly the same with the other van, but we haven't got to worry so much because that door, you can see I'm putting a jack under it, is quite badly damaged just to help me get it on there and save me energy for the other truck. I think that was the easy bit because this one we didn't care about and I did do it with the jack just to save my energy to lift that one on so you have got to get those two pins dropped back in those holes so i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it a minute and then i'm gonna actually lift that one on there and then we'll start all swapping everything over but i'm probably not gonna film it it's a few bolts for the wing mirror and to take the door panel off and swap that over also swap the lock as well but that one's bolted on there now and shut so it's watertight again and it, i've plugged it in as well but yeah right let's get this one on so on to this one and although it looks really quick and looks like i got it straight on there i didn't you can see it slightly full there and i had to lift it off again where it was only on one hinge and then line it up and i managed to get it on there you've then got to pull the check strap out because you have to push it in to get the door on get the check strap bolt in there two 10 mils underneath the two little bits of wiring harness and then we move on to the door lock i'll do off camera i'll tell you what that was a good effort if i say so myself there uh, just two little bump ups with the door and i managed to get it on i'm not going to film any more of it the gap looks a little bit big at the top there maybe a little tiny bit too small at the bottom how does that one look <laughs> small at the top and big at the bottom you can just undo one bolt and just crack that slightly so i may move that out just a touch mind you if it ain't catching is it worth it let's get that door cleaned and get everything built up like i said i'm not going to film it i'll get it done and then we'll have a look but i think that's it i think that is pretty much it let's get it done that is it i've just left it running for the last five minutes or so i'm going to give it another five minutes and then i'm going to pull it in the workshop and do the oil and filter looks better doesn't it a couple of little digs little tiny marks around that door i'll be touching them up but then there is still a couple of little marks on the bonnet of this one that are going to want touching up and these little red lines and this scuff I'll get a bit of thinners on them in a minute when it's in the workshop. It's quite tight. I'm not going to be able to put it up on the ramp. It's far too big. But what I can do is pull it, put its nose in the door, drop the oil, change the filters, and I guess that is going to be it. Was there two of them mud flaps on there? No, only one. And also, I need to do something with that light bulb. That'll be quite easy to do, though, straighten that out. Right, let's get it in the workshop. Get that oil and filter swapped out. Like I said I'm gonna to have to do this on the floor. All very easy to get to. The oil filter is just this side behind the sump and you've got like a 13 on the front of the sump there. So we're gonna drop the oil, change the filter over and you can see in the box there, it actually holds 11 liters of oil from empty. So 
we'll chuck 10 litres in it after it's drained down, start it up, leave it a minute, dip it and see how we get on. Let's get that one drained down. So into the workshop, sump plug out, let all of the oil drain until it stops dripping, get that sump plug back in and then back with the drain tray onto the oil filter, tip the oil filter up into the drain tray and then straight in with 10 litres of new oil at first. I'm not going to put 11 in it and as I go you see I'll put 5 litres in and then I'll put 5 litres out of the drain can back in the empty can that I've just used. I'll do that with both of them. That is service complete. There's about mm, a litre left in the tray and you can see I've refilled the cans that I used and that one's just over a gallon and that one's just done well five litres so there is about 11 litres in there new filter the old one's on the floor again not that bad actually well we've certainly seen a lot worse haven't we that's not lack of maintenance it's definitely been maintained one thing I did notice as I was bringing it in I thought that is it it's actually not that tire's all right but this tire I noticed it's actually really bowing. It's been really overfilled with air and it is really worn on that edge. So I'm gonna to have to chuck a tire on this one. But I think that's it. I'm gonna run it out for a quick road test. That's perfect. Well, I don't know, that bottom corner. I'm going to have a little play with it and get it a little bit better than that, I think. But look how much better that looks. Well, that's number one, the 2019 truck completely finished. We're going to go inside in a minute and crunch the numbers on it. And I'll let you know how much we're going to want for it. But I did run ENL down to the car wash and just add pretty much the same treatment as we did on that one. Inside, outside, not mega, mega valet, just a good clean inside. And as you can see, it all come up very nice. The seats want a little shampoo, but the dash again, all come up nice. This really is a nice one. And it's had so much work done to it. It's had new injectors. They took the engine out to change the injectors. It says it in all the paperwork. It's had a service, new discs, new pads. And the only thing wrong with it is that edge of that door, the wing, the grill is a little bit pushed back there. And you can see there's a bit of a gap in that headlight. So that's going to want a little bit of attention bringing out. And this handle's broken on the bed. But the only reason, oh, and I've just put some ad blue in it. The only reason I'm actually showing this one now is you're never going to see it again. And we ain't got to worry about that handle because it's going to have a recovery bed on it. Now, one of our friends who really, really helps us out a lot actually rung us straight up and asked for one of these. And of course, we're going to let them have one. So this one is actually going, is going to convert it into a recovery truck. And of course, we're never going to see it again. So that's one turn round and out the door already. And that one, of course, we're going to list on Instagram. Give everyone a chance to buy it. Let's go inside and crunch the numbers. So I've had to wait for Chris to come back. And I said, I'm going to go in and crunch the numbers. And he was like, oh, I didn't think we was quite doing that yet. We was going to do it another way round. But well, we, we bought them as a package deal, didn't we? Yes. So it makes it a little bit trickier. But you've managed they, to put something well, together for Well, we've kind of had me. a work out what we think. We've split it, haven't we, and worked out what we think that one owes us. It's awkward, because one of them's like scrap. That's right, yeah, that's the trouble. Yeah. So we know we're going to probably lose a little bit out of that one. Yeah. Because we're going to rob a few bits, aren't we? But we right. will get... We don't know how much we get back for it. So what I've done is I've put the prices down as if we were buying the parts. Okay. And then we can... You know, makes sense. Chips away at that one we're yeah. losing money at, yeah, doesn't it? You know, definitely. We're already a bit of money back if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Makes yeah. sense to me and you, I'm oh, sure, yeah. and someone to get it. So the 19 Red Strands, <coughs> in no particular order, Chris went out there, the way they rolled off the back of the truck and put numbers in them, one to five. Yeah. As we know, one of them's gone now, that's gone to our friend. 
and the 19 Reg one is going to be available and it's going to be listed on Instagram shortly, next few days. So Chris has got down here, purchase price is £5,500, which is very cheap for a 19 Reg flatbed transit. Transport, £250. I mean, this is, again, roughly. Yeah. Um, gasket set, £32. Service kit, 120 Yep. And some pence, but we yeah, haven't got no. into that. A valet was 40 quid. And yeah. I, I think they earned that 40 quid. Yeah, it was... Uh... Yeah, pretty yeah. mucky. Yeah. Uh, so Chris has put down the price here that we'd actually pay for the part. Yeah. So we've just put a mint door on that truck, 200 quid. You might get one a bit cheaper, Rob, but as I said to you, you would have to go and pick it up, yeah. running around. So we're happy at £200 and it's on our doorstep. Right? Yeah, I might so lose half a day going to get one. That's the thing, so, yeah. Tyres and rims, Same obviously, thing, really. we're nicking them. 100 quid, because we need to put two on it. Yeah. Given a total, £6,242. Now, unfortunately, we don't like doing it, but we don't get it. The VAT, we have well, to no, charge. They're VAT qualifying vehicles. They're VAT qualifying. <clears throat> Me and Chris are not getting that VAT money. It goes no. straight to the VAT man. We're going to ask eight and a half grand for that truck, but only because we know that not everyone's VAT registered, which is, that's going to be eight and a half grand plus VAT. It takes it just over 10. Just over 10. Yeah. And that's going to give us a pre-tax profit. I know it sounds like a lot, from six two to ten grand, but we're having a pre-tax profit, which we're happy with. Yep. Two thousand two hundred and fifty-eight pound on that yep. truck. Yep. So it's going to be just over ten grand with the VAT. But if you go on eBay and look, every single one of them on there is over eleven grand plus VAT. So we're still doing it dirt yeah. cheap. Yeah. It's a nineteen reg truck. That, believe it or not, is the highest mileage out of all them trucks. And it's done 140. All the others have done 120. And it gives us a good start, doesn't it? It does give us yeah, a good start. Term, gives yeah. us a bit of money back yeah. and creates a bit of room because we've got a yard full of <coughs> we transits. Have. We have, yeah. That's going to be the end of today's video. As usual, we do hope that you did enjoy it. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds. Follow Chris on his personal one at Selvage Rebuilds Chris. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share, for, uh, and share on all your social networking sites. And we'll look forward to seeing you very, very soon in the next one.